Hi guys. Welcome to Para Playhouse. We're so excited to have you today. This table was organized like seconds ago. And then I put baby and puppy here and then they started knocking stuff down and it was just chaos. So oh, here we are. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a fun stream. I've been wanting to do a DIY stream for a long time and also a safety stream as well because there are so many dangerous toys out there, right? And people think it's okay to put anything in a bird toy. And these guys are delicate rainforest flowers and things get stuck all the time in birds and they have to be removed. So this is what the strings about. So I was up late last night making a bunch of DIY toys for you. So I'm so excited to show you them. I'm going to, Sammy's going to scream. So just a second. This is a live video. So the birds, you know, there goes baby. Let me grab the scissors. There we go. Okay. Um, these birds, you know, they're excited about this. Victoria is up high away from baby and puffy. She's way up there. Mr. Bueno's right here. Come here, say hi to everybody. There he is. I don't wanna put him up high because if he falls, he can get hurt, but he's right there. So if you hear Bueno's, it's because he's right here and he'll probably join us in a bit. Casey's over there and there's birds everywhere in this room. So let me see who's here. This is one of my favorite part. I gotta keep these away from my babies. Linda Park's here. Hi, Kai Corner's here. Awesome. Kelly's here. Hi, Kelly. Elaine's here. Kaluka's here. Crazy Conyers here. Bubba the Bird's here. That is so cool. Angel Frank's here. All right, so many awesome people are here. Okay, so let's get started. There's so much. I wanna try to get through this in 30 minutes. Can you guys hear me okay? I wanna go into the live chat. All right, hopefully you can hear me okay. I hope the internet's not slow. So I'm gonna put my phone here. Let me just show you some of the stuff that I made last night. So here we go. These are basically, um, and everything, basically everything you see here, you can get this at our Amazon store. So I made it super easy for you guys. Look at these piranhas. Look at these piranhas. They're just into everything. So these are basically cup holders that you get when you get a coffee, right? So you can either buy these. I bought a stack. I think they were like $7. Or you can get them at Starbucks or Coffee Bean or whatever. And look at that. Do you see that? So this is a foraging toy puff. He's scared of it. He's scared of things that you would never expect. And then he's not scared of things you wish he was scared of. So this is stuffing. This is like just regular no guy stuffing. And I bought a pack of that and you could also get this at our Amazon store. And I love, love this stuff. So now you guys gotta be careful with your little birds, right? Cause you don't want them to get nesty. Cause the ones that have little budgies, cockatiels, they might think these are a nest. So you gotta really, each bird is an individual. So I would not recommend a toy like this for cockatiels or budgies or even green cheek conyers because you don't want them thinking they're nests. This would be great for an Amazon. Baby couldn't even get his foot in there. He's so big. This would, where's Puffy? Puffy's scared. <laughs> Are you scared? Come here. What happened? Is it gonna get you? Oh, don't be scared. No, I'll protect you. Okay, come over here, I'm gonna protect you. So this means maybe I'm gonna be on his good side through the stream. Thank God. Uh, so this would work for a kaik as well. And then let me show you what I also have in there. And so these are, um, what are these? Uh, wood chip finger tips. You see those? So what I do is, so when you guys make your own toys, you're gonna need scissors and you're gonna need a paper puncher like that, right? So basically I just punch them like this. There you go put a hole, and then I grab untreated sisal rope. And we have this at our Amazon store. You guys have to be careful. There's rope out there that has toxic oil that will kill your birds or make them really sick. So you want it to be natural rope. And it has a smell, but it's a natural rope smell. So this is great for 
birds like baby puffy thomas i forgot to bring my coconut rope then there's also coconut rope which is thicker and that'll be good for the bigger birds like the cockatoos the macaws it's harder for them to bite through that right so that's what i have right there okay and so that's how i made that toy and i just kind of made holes and then another thing, and I'm going to make these toys in just a second. I'm just walking you through. Another thing that I like to do is save their toys, right? Save their toys that I bought and I save their blocks. And I make sure there's like no poo or anything like that. And then I recycle what they don't use because when a toy gets too stringy, the baby knocked down a bunch of stuff. Let me go down here. This could cause all kinds of drama. Okay. So when a toy gets down to, I know, I know, when there's too much chain, which I don't really like chain, you guys, because birds, especially like macaws, they can get their beaks stuck in there. So chain scares me. And it can also, if it's, there's too much, it can strangle your birds. And I actually know birds that have gotten strangled. None of mine, though. None of mine have ever been strangled. But I do have friends who birds have been strangled. So they woke up to a terrible surprise in the morning. So we want to avoid that, right? Um, so what I'll do is, this is also, I like this toy because I could show you. See that bell right in there? These bells are dangerous, you guys. You know, they're great for the little precious budgies, lovebirds, um, maybe even the little green uh, green cheek conyers. I don't know, but anything bigger, these things are dangerous because they can take that bell off. Right. And actually Casey did that. Thank you so much for the super chat, Jennifer Kingston. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. It's so cool. They can actually take that bell and they can swallow it. And Casey, she didn't swallow it, but she had it under her tongue and she was teasing me. So I learned the hard way with that one. Also, uh, these little clinks. Where's a little clink? Here we go. Another thing. Baby knocked over. Let me just show you. I want to get this stuff out of the way because it's really important. You see that? These things get stuck at the bottom of bird's beaks all the time. Oh my God. You should see all those Facebook posts. These cheaper ones like this. This is a nice heavy duty one. You see? I, that that you, is safe, but you have to make sure it's closed. So you want to do a toy safety check every morning in your bird's cage. This thing, it'll actually come undone and it hooks under and it puts a hole right through there. It's, it's just terrible, just terrible. So you want to avoid those and you also want to avoid these. Look at that. That's, see those? Those are terrible. You don't want to use any of these clothespins to hang toys. That's also terrible. All right, so we've got that out of the way. So we covered some toy safety. Let's get to some of the fun, and then we're going to get to some more toys, and we're just going to keep going back and forth. All right, so this is a really easy toy to make. Do you see that? I'm going to make this without the little blocks. I mean, the little, can you see that? The balls, because the balls are actually kind of hard to find. I wanted to make sure I could find some balls um, that had a vegetable dye because you want to make sure anything that you're using for your birds, there is no like um, artificial coloring. You want it all food grade vegetable dye. And so here we go. So it's just so easy, you guys. You just pop this through. And these we also have at our Amazon store. I'm just going to put this through. I'm going to make these toys like literally in minutes. I already prepped them. So don't worry. You're not going to be sitting there bored to death. Okay. So we got one there. And we're going to put another knot. And so it's important when you're using rope that you don't use cotton rope, you guys. Because cotton rope can like snag off. And your birds can get their nails. They can get their toes stuck. I've seen it happen so many times. This is an example of like cotton rope right there. There's cotton and there's also nylon in there. Your bird's not going to get out of that. I can't get out of that. Their little nails will get stuck in there. And it's going to be another terrible surprise for you and your bird. So, you know, stay away from stuff like that. Another thing you want to stay away from, oh my goodness, I have been seeing so much plastic on toys lately, you guys. You guys, you guys, parrots don't have teeth, right? They don't have teeth like you and I do. And they just basically, they chip something off and they swallow it. If it's bright, if it's shiny, I mean, just think of a toddler with a hard candy. What's a kid going to do? They're probably going to swallow a hard candy, right? 
they're going to swallow it and you're going to have a huge, huge problem. And so what it happens is, you know, even if it passes the crop, even if it passes the crop, I'm going to start. I've been sick. Here we go. <coughs> even if it passes the crop, it's going to get stuck in the gizzard. And I speak from experience because baby has something stuck in him right now. And so we're carefully monitoring that. We don't know what he swallowed. I'm really careful, you guys. So let me just tell you, it can happen to anybody, even somebody that's like constantly careful. He, he got something and he swallowed it. We don't know what's in there. Um, we can see in the x-ray that there's something in his gizzard. And we're just monitoring him right now because the poop's still coming out. His blood work looks great. And Dr. Lattice doesn't want to risk surgery. Here comes Victoria. Oh, my gosh. Here she goes. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, no. Leave Casey alone. Come here, baby girl. Let me see. Oh, look how cute she is. All right. So here we go. Just like this. You guys, let me know if Victoria, like, climbs onto Casey's cage because, uh, okay. Come here, baby. Come on. Here we go. It's a good time for us to say hi to Victoria Cockatoo anyways. There we go. Okay, here we are. Here she is. Hi, Victoria. You wanna say hi to everybody? Mwah. She is such a good girl. But you wanna know something interesting about Victoria? Especially when she's nesty. This is when she's more likely to swallow something. And you know what? Don't get scared, guys. It's not a snake. She, I can't trust her with rope perches. She will literally try to take pieces of it off and swallow it. So this is another thing you want to keep away from your birds, you guys. Of course, every bird's an individual. But you want to stay away from those rope perches, right? And you want to stay. There goes Puffy again. Well, we know what to do when he starts acting up. And you want to stay away from these sleepy huts. Are you okay? Come here. Oh, he's gone. He just he just escaped like a little cockroach running through a restaurant. Puffy, come back. Okay. So look at that sleepy head. That's another thing you want to avoid because birds will eat that, you guys, and they'll get stuck. All right. I'm nervous knowing Puffy is on the loose. Holy Batmobile. Okay. So there's our first toy. I'm warming up. But see how easy that is? Okay, so now this is like super cute. We're gonna get into foraging. So I actually have a little nut hidden in there. And this is for the beginner foragers because birds that are busy are less likely to scream and they're less likely to pluck their feathers and do undesirable behaviors because they need to look for their food. Puffy, where are you? There's nothing worse than a kayak loose in a live stream. I mean, my gosh, it's like terrifying. Okay, so here we go. Did you guys knock? Oh, yeah, they knocked this down too. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make this. So you're going to grab your scissors. And if you're making like anything like this, I love cupcake wrappers, but you want to be careful because there are some that have nonstick coating. And nonstick coating, whether you're cooking, whether you're doing anything, is extremely dangerous for birds. If you guys see Puffy, let me know because he is loose and I'm fearing for Casey's life right now. So I learned this from Melissa Davis. She has her own DIY toy making on Facebook. It's a Facebook page. And here we go. So you just cut holes like this or just cut things like that. And this is a great toy for a cockatiel. This is a great toy for a precious little budgie. This is a great toy for a small bird or even some big birds. I hear him growling. At least I know Thomas is safe. You know, everybody else. Oh, oh no, that's Victoria chewing on my cord. Oh, there's Puffy with Victoria. Hold on. This is not a good combination. Okay, come here. I'm so glad you came back to home base, Puffy. Thank you. Good boy. He came back with poop, though. My gosh. Okay. So we're going to do this. And this is how you make it puff out like puffy. Okay. So we're going to take our sisal rope just like that. We're going to pull it. We're going to tie a knot. Do you see that? Just tie a knot, you guys. But this is basically, you don't need to make these toys like exactly how I'm making them. It's just to open your eyes, open your brains, 
and just to show you what you can do. So I'm gonna puff this up. And so I have about five of them right here. So you can use as many. And then I'm gonna kind of turn them around. And I already put holes. So you wanna put the hole at the bottom of them first. See how that's kind of puffy? Look at even puffy's like going, hmm. So with this, you could put a little lock in there or you can put, I'm gonna use one of our little cardboard things. I, we have those at our Amazon store. I'm gonna put that through. And let's see, what are we gonna use? I'm gonna use the Christine's Chop Shop Lavender 30 Bites. So these are like, oh no, these are calming crackers. So I'm gonna put that in there. And when you're doing that, make sure, he just pooped down my leg. Um, make sure that your birds see you doing this. You watching? Huh? Kayaks are a huge commitment, you guys. Um, they never stop moving. So just know that if you're thinking about bringing one of these wild little creatures into your home, look how cute this is. I love this toy. I think it's adorable. He just bit me. He's biting me right now. Do you see that? Yeah, I think it's time to whip out that cozy hut to scare him, huh? So he's clomping down on my arm. Now he's just rubbing his beak. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. Okay, now he's just rubbing his beak. Do you see that? That's easy, that's quick. I love that toy. Okay, so let me show you something else that I made. So once again, I used the tray and do you see the tray? And then I took, I cut one of them and I stuffed it with paper towels. And let me show you how I do that. Those are fun toys. I love using those and all these toys here today that you see, they're all gonna be foraging toys. So basically, here we go again. I'm just gonna do this and it kind of makes like a flower. And once your bird know, they know that you've got, what are you doing baby? Be careful. Once your birds know there's treats in there and you guys with the little birds, if you're gonna do this, turn it upside down so they can't go in there and make a nest, right? Turn it upside down, put a hole and hang it. So they have to climb, they have to fly and hold on to this and you can hide millet in there. So anything that's like that, for the little guys, just flip it upside down and they can be like little hummingbirds out of flower, right? So there you go. So that's what you wanna do. So that's just an idea. So every time they ask you if you want a cup holder, say, yeah. What, what Victoria? Say, I want a cup holder. So that's that. And then what was fun is I stuck it in here, just like that. And then I stuck, do you see there's a cupcake wrapper? And then this is a natural Dixie cup. There's no wax in, on it. There's no wax. And then I used a recycle block. And these are coffee filters. And then one of those little wooden fingers again. And you can hang that. And so I put a little hanger. That's a fun toy. I, I think, do you like that? He's, he's happy. Is that good? Yeah? Yeah, okay, so Puffy likes that. Where's Victoria going? Okay, so let's do, what should we make? Oh, I'm gonna make, so I'm gonna make you this. This thing is so much fun. I love this one. Okay, so here we are. Somebody's loose, I just know it. Where did my scissors go? Oh, there they are. Where's Victoria? Victoria just took off, okay. So what you wanna do, any of these cups, I got this idea from Melissa Davis as well. You just cut them like that. And then they flare open like a flower. See that? I love that. There we go, okay. And then, here we are. More rope, he just bit me. More rope, just like that. And you can just put that through, tie a knot. See how easy it is? For those of you that do not have money at home, you can look to see what you've got. You just need your staples, like the rope, the little stuffy stuff. Get a few, get these, these are super cheap. Um, these are great, and honestly, you're set to go. And we're gonna put a little, there we are just like that, and we're gonna hang it like that, and then we're gonna add another cup. And I, I just can't imagine any bird not liking this. So this one, you can, this is what's so cool about this one. So this one, you can put little treats inside. And I have, did what did Baby do with my almonds? 
This is the thing, you guys. When you're doing live streams, it's intense with birds. Here he comes. So you could put, that is a Nutriberry. That was a really big piece of a Nutriberry. You want to do a smaller piece. And then you can enclose it in there. So they have to work for that, you guys. You see, when my birds are in their cage, they have a fun time. They really do. Because they're working for their food. And they absolutely, absolutely love it, you guys. And so that's just a quick, quick simple thing. Um, let me show you, okay, we got more toys to make, but let me show you Victoria Cockatoo. I don't know where she went, came out with her own toy line <laughs> last week. And so this is for Valentine's day and these toys are all made really well. This is the only one that has chain on it. Cause I'm not that big of a fan of chain, but um, you get a few of these really strong links. There's not going to be any of these weak links. So what I like to do is I like to buy toys because I got a lot of birds. I can't make them all. I buy some good quality toys and that's what we have at our store. See that rope wood. That toy is high quality food dye made in America. And then we've got some big ones right here. Do you see that? That's a nice, awesome, luscious toy. I love that toy. So we have eight toys in bundles. So we have that the link below. And for the little babies, ParrotTown.com has these cute little birdie stacks, right? And then she also has these foraging toys that she doesn't have too often. So right now she does. And those are great for the little guys. And she has the bigger birdie stacks. So those are good for the big guys too. And so I know everybody's just like, you don't have stuff for the little itsy bitsies, but Parrot Town does. So that's awesome. But my birds love these toys. Now, Yakawood, this is another toy you see in our bundle. Yakawood is awesome. And I want to show you why. You can turn Yakawood into a foraging toy. So let me show you how you can do that. So you put holes into it like that. And then you'll get your treats. And you can stuff your treats in there. And so my birds, do you want to come here? Oops. My birds love it. Here we go. Yeah. My birds love it because they go in there and they get those little treats. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah. So that's also an awesome. Bueno, it's me. Bueno, that's just super awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to make you this really cute toy. I think this is one of my favorite toys, you guys. And once again, cupcake wrappers, you got to have a ton of them. And we're going to use this as something you get at Starbucks and then our little stuffy paper. So let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, so we're just going to take one of these. Okay, and then we're going to take, once again, our Cecil rope. This stuff is like $7 for 100 feet. I love it. And it just keeps giving and giving. And it looks like it comes in a spool um, on um, Amazon, but it doesn't. That's how it comes. And here we go. So I'm going to tie a knot. There we are. I love these. Ooh, I want to show you my paper. We also have paper straws too. Okay. So there we go like that. And then we're going to grab the big cupcakes. I got this idea from Melissa Davis as well. Okay, so we're gonna put our big ones. I already split them, cut them, so they're like, they puff up like that. We're just gonna kind of separate them a little bit. Alrighty. Make sure that hole, and if you're doing this around your birds, just try to keep the sharp stuff away from your birds. And then put that in there. Birds will love this. And then you can put like a recyclable block in there if you want, all right? And then I like to use, and that's where you can hide your first goodie. So you can hide a little bit millet. That's where you can hide your first goodie. Yes, you can even put some dry pasta in there. Christine's Chop Shop dry pasta, just like that, okay? And you guys don't have to make it like I'm making it, but this is just to give you some ideas. All right, and as you see, I'm staying away from any plastic stuff. I don't like plastic stuff at all, and I especially don't like beads, you guys. Beads are okay for tiny little cockatiels and um, budgies, but beads are not okay for anything bigger. 
it's really dangerous. Just I, I, if they swallow that, you're you're done. You're done. But some people like to use it. I don't think they realize, you know, they're new to the game. Okay. So there we go. Just like that. Now I'm going to put some stuffing in there. And that makes it fun too. And once again, if you got a precious little parakeet, any of those little ones that can sit in this, this is not the toy for them. Or you can use the Dixie cups or you can use mouthwash cups that are just made out of paper and you can do the same thing, but smaller. And then that will be way harder for them to sit in there and nest because this is nesting season. And I don't know about you. It's crazy in my bird room. Like it's just crazy in here. So I do my best to not provide anything that's gonna make them want to nest. And especially, you wanna be careful what you're covering your bird's cages with, because they're so nesty, they'll try to pull those sheets in. And once again, they can get hurt on some of those sheets or towels. I never cover their cages with towels because those fibers come undone and the little toes can get stuck. But do you see that? I love this. And then you can just make your little thing like this. I made it a little too long. And then you can hang that in their cage. I just love that. And then we also have, so there's an, another idea. So they've got all these paper straws, right? Because we're getting rid of the plastic stuff. Because plastic's just no bueno, right, Thomas? For a second, I thought they were plastic straws. I was like, oh, no, no bueno. So you can use these straws. These straws are fun. Yeah, they're. I think they're fun. Like this one that we did. Right. I know it doesn't look like much, but birds would love it. And you can like wiggle a straw in there. And that's just like an extra thing for them to chew up. So you can just create. You guys stay away from like tissue paper. Uh, you don't want to use tissue paper. There's dyes in those. Right. Um, I'm not a really big fan with the Amazon boxes because there's glue and stuff on those. Um, if I don't want to put it in my mouth. If I don't want to put it in my mouth, if I wouldn't want to put it in a toddler's mouth, I definitely would not want a bird to put it in their mouth because birds, their beak is like their hands, right? It's an extra hand. And so they just basically, the birds got quiet all of a sudden. Um, they basically grab everything. They put everything in their mouths. And these guys can't handle the germs that we can handle. They're, they shouldn't be here, the wild animals. They're not equipped to handle that bacteria. So just be really careful with some of those boxes you use. And some of those boxes have fibers that aren't natural because they're recycled. So some of those boxes that you use, if your birds swallow them, they might not be able to digest them and poop them out like a dog or a cat or I guess a human baby if they ate a box. I don't know. Um, I guess they eat stuff like that, maybe. But you know, just kind of think about it like that. Think about like they are like creamy babies and would you want to expose, you know, what you're putting in their mouths to like a two week year old newborn, right? So just kind of put that into thought. And let me show you here. These beads. Okay, I got to move really slow because I don't want Thomas falling. You guys know he's extremely delicate. Okay, so I got you guys. I got piles of beads here. And when I had my precious little Khaleesi, my budgie, I got a lot of beads. Now I can't use these. Um, do you see that? Do you see how if you were to stick this on a Conyers toy or anything, that's really easy for it just to slip in there and for them to swallow. Uh, that's really scary. And look, look at all these beads. And I, I, I got actually five of these boxes and I will never use them. Um, Unless I get another little parakeet or lovebird or cockatiel, which I probably won't because Puffy tries to eat anything that's smaller than him. Um, let me show you this. This is also like a little tree. Okay. You, well, you hang it, a little wreath for birds to sleep. Do you see how it has cotton rope? This rope, if a little tootsie was to get stuck in there, they're going to get stuck in there. And just think they're sleeping at night and all of a sudden they, they want to move, they can't, and they just start panicking, right? This is another thing you want to avoid. You want more of um, 
flannel if you're going to do it. You uh, flannel's way safer. But you also want to make sure your bird's not eating that. Okay. Any foam uh, toys, anything like that, you want to stay away from. Um, so you just got to be oh so careful. Okay. So now let's do another toy here. How are we doing on time? Okay. So I'm glad we talked about the rope. Let me just go, I mean, chain. Let me just go through my notes. I think I did really good. Yeah. And so, you know, another cool thing is when you've got plenty of toys in your bird's cage boarding toys, those little couch potatoes, if you got Amazons and you'll look at a lot of bird's feet and they get red because they just stay at one perch all day, you come home and you got like, you know, Mount St. Helen, Helen pile of poop, right? So you know your bird's just been standing there all day. But if you lay these foraging toys, make different foraging stations um, throughout your bird room. And for the bigger birds, do you see how this one is? So I used two of these, those cup holders, and I stuffed it the inside. I wish I hadn't done that because now I can't show you. Okay. Do you see how I connected that? Inside are treats. I have paper. I have Dixie cups. Um, I have these little things, and I stuffed it. So this is something I would give Victoria, as long as it doesn't make her nasty, or an Amazon, or an African gray. But make sure when you're packing it with goodies um, that your bird sees it, because they're not going to know there's goodies in there. And you guys are going to have to do some practice, right? Unwrap it in front of your birds, make a big deal out of it, make sure your bird knows it's not going to eat them and stuff like that. Okay, so now we're going to take, I just love these things, you guys. I really do. So we're going to take these again and we're just going to make a little something just like that. And then, how do I want to do this? So this would be great for a little guy. Last night I was just going crazy, right? Oh, I want to show you this. So I made a little mobile. So you can use a paper plate, right? And this I think would be great for any size bird. Well, not like a macaw or a cockatoo. And I have the Dixie cups and you can, or you can use those mouthwash cups. You put treats in there and you close it. And that one's upside down, more treats in there. And you can put healthy treats and healthy treats once again, Baby, knock my stuff down. Oh my gosh. Okay. Healthy treats like these sprouted birdie bites from Christine's Top Shop. I love these. So you can put those in there. You can put pellets in there. It doesn't always have to be like a tiny little sliver of a net or anything like that. It could also be healthy stuff in there. So they are really working it, right? So I love that. That's made out of a paper plate. And that's just being creative of what you can make for your birds. I, I love that stuff. Okay. So back to our toy. So that's easy. You guys don't need to see me make that because that is just basically super simple to make, right? Okay. So here we go. And then we're going to put another one. I already pre-punched. Everybody's going to need little punchers. This is fun for a little guy. I know it doesn't look much, but what you can do is you can put a little bit of millet and don't over millet, you guys, your birds, because millet is fattening. So if you're going to give your birds millet, if you're going to give your birds any treat, let it be in a foraging toy. So they have to work for it. Don't give those treats out for free. Use those treats to get your birds to do something and do something fun, right? So you, it's like, you know, when you got children, you got to get them to exercise and you want to make that exercise fun. So that's the same thing you want to do with birds. Human kids can go outside. They could swing on the monkey bars. You know, they could do stuff like that. And that's exercise. It's fun. And uh, I wish I could still do that, actually. Um, but birds, you know, if they can't fly... And some households, birds can't fly. And then there's handicapped birds that can't fly, you know, for different reasons. You know, can you imagine Puffy flying in here? That thought scares me. Uh, he would kill Thomas. So you can put this, you could do a bunch of them, tie one part to one part of the cage, the other side. And that bird is going to have to really swing. It's going to be like monkey bars, right? They're going to have to swing and they're going to have to go to each one, but don't put a treat each one. They're not going to know. It's going to be like a chocolate box that has like maybe one delicious chocolate and the other tastes like 
ah. So they're going to have to take a bite of the whole thing. So I, I hope these ideas like help you, you guys. And um, I'm just really excited, peeled into buds. Oh, um, uh, Etsy's here. Let's see what she's saying. Uh, millet can be peeled into buds, little clumps of millet. I like to usually stuff two buds for foraging. Oh, good. She's down there. Hey. Oh, good. You like those ideas, Sherry? Good, good. Thank, thank you. Thank you, SD. Oh, Live Lap Birds is here. Awesome. Yep. And you can use uh, treats for training as well. Hey, girls. Hey. Oh, Wyoming's here. All have YouTube channels. SD will have her YouTube channel coming very soon. Um, so I just, you, you guys, the, the real important thing about this is I just wanted to give you ideas. I've just seen some terrible toys that are being sold online at stores and they're full of plastic um those little pl uh, mirrors you guys you know a lot of the little guys toys are low quality they're dangerous just really think when you look at it can my bird get its toe stuck and you know if you're going to use these clinks for parakeets budgies lovebirds if you're going to use those make sure that they're turned like this if they're turned like this, do you see how it gets narrow right there? Do you see that? Their little leg can get stuck in there, and I've actually seen that happen with a bird. So you want to make sure that wide part is, but I really don't like these. So try to, if you're going to tie a toy, try to tie it with some Cecil rope. It's it's so cheap, it, and it. I mean, honestly, if something was to happen to your bird, it, that is just, you can't replace a bird and then definitely check out parrottown.com and also parrotplayhouse.com for safe bird toys you guys if you guys want to purchase some toys that are safe that are you don't have to worry about diseases you know transmitting your birds um these are great great toys and then once again if your bird doesn't use all the blocks cut the rope and recycle you guys you paid money for these and this is actually a really good buy um recycle it all see what you can reuse and it's just super awesome if you got birds like thomas yeah, thomas is really sensitive and his immune system isn't the best so when i recycle toys i make sure his toys stay with him and I don't like swap the other birds toys with his toys. I just want to make sure that he doesn't get any germs. And I love him so, so much. So I, how did I do? Do, I, do? do you guys think this was helpful? Got to get some rope. Yes. Everybody needs to get some rope. Everybody needs to get these things. We have them all at our Amazon store. Everybody needs to get uh, basket shredders. These things are great. If you're going to buy these, these little balls, be careful, you guys. They sell these as decorations, too. I don't know what they're putting on them. The, these were actually food dye. Um, and then you also need to buy a pile of these. Let me make sure I don't drop Thomas. I think these were like seven bucks, unless you're going to raid like Starbucks. So if you got like the basics and cupcakes, and just be creative. I love, isn't that cute? It looks like a little hat, I think. It looks like a little hut. I mean, that is like a good for like stage one foraging, right? Teaching them how to forage. This is more like, you know, stage four, right? And then you can make it more complicated and more complicated. And you got the little, I think this is kind of complicated because they're having to like get up there and try to get that. And if you want something more sturdy, you can turn one of these upside down for the bigger birds, right? And then they have to forage. And also, you know, SD gave me a great idea. Um, you can have paper bags and you can fill these paper bags with all kinds of treats. You can stuff it, you can put blocks, you can put yucca, you can put toys, tie it up for the beginners, the stage one foragers, put a hole in it, oh! hang a little millet out so they know that they got to forage. Once again, make sure they don't get nesty, but I think it would be hard because they would break. Even a paper bag, is that not crazy? You can also take, you know, I feel about boxes, but if you cut a box down to an inch, right? Because you don't want you don't want your birds playing in boxes. You don't. Um, I know they're cheap toys, but that will be expensive in the long run because they'll be hormonal. Even this, you can put little things in there, and so they have to forage. Um, in like little like 
pans, glass pans that are like this. You can put a little bit of water. You can put some stones in there after they're super clean. And birds like to go in there and move things around. I know my kayaks do. You can also put like a little pan and you can put those stones. But make sure those stones, if they're on your bird's foot, your bird's not going to get stuck. So they can't be too small, but they can't be too big. And you could put like one tiny sliver of millet in there and they're going to have to move things around just like they would in the wild. That's a fun, fun activity for a bird. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this stream. We had so much fun. Um, let me see. Let me see. So make sure you stay away from those sleepy huts. Make sure you stay away from all those synthetic fibers that your birds can't pass. Make sure you watch those ropes, right? You want to stay away from those ropes and you want to stay away from anything that your bird can get stuck on. And if you guys have handicapped birds like I have and you're like, you need something cushy for the feet, I have this nonstick wrap. It's on our perch section in the Amazon store where I actually, um, can you see Victoria Cockatoo's perch right there where I wrap her perch so she doesn't slip? But that's another thing you want to make sure that your birds aren't swallowing as well. A stick or branch from a tree cover with a question mark for a lovebird. Thank you. Well, so a stick or branch, you, you got to know what kind of branch you're putting in there. Um, and also you want to be careful what you're bringing from the outside because it could have bugs in it. It could have like, because other birds have mites. You could be bringing mites in there. Um, also, there are a lot of trees that are toxic for birds. So it's actually, you want to make sure you know what you're doing when you're doing that. And you also need to bake it in the oven at a low temperature for quite some time to just kill off anything. So don't go out there just bringing any stick or branch into your home because you will i mean you could totally poison your bird um right right <laughs> yeah, and it's not worth taking the chance with these babies right because they are absolutely precious oh let me show you something that's precious right here i've been wearing it in the stream i'm going to start wearing these guys in the stream you guys so this is teal with it right i was just kind of going with it do you see that that's by birdism and she has like the cutest little thing. So she sent me a bunch of these cute little pins. And so each one has like a different mood of like what I'm feeling. And one of them says, be kind. And I love that one, right? And it's of Cody, her precious little lovebird. So I don't know. I just like wearing that. It made me happy. Who doesn't like getting something in the mail that makes you smile? And so she has all kinds. And you can't play with this because this is something that could, you know, you don't want to put that in your mouth. Well, we love you guys. It means so much that you took time out of your day to come and learn and visit us. And we're just so thankful to have you. And I hope that this stream helped you um, learn new things. Hey, Sherry, can you race that, please? Learn new things. Uh, moderators, can you please race that right there and block them? And um, it, it's just so exciting to have you here. But I love you so much, and we'll uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Oh wait, and to extra safe bleach your wood. To our, uh, I don't know about bleaching, but baking is great. All right, guys, we love you. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Bye.